Hello, kindergarten mathematicians. Mrs. Dorn and Ava are here to learn with you, and we're going to get our brains warmed up for math by counting by tens. So make sure you're on your screen, get your mouth ready, and let's count together. Are you ready? Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay. Okay. All right. Ava wants us to count, but we're going to start with the number 45. So in your brain, I want you to think about 45. What would come after 45? Do you have it? We'll say 45 and then we'll keep going. Got it? Okay, once you get it, get your mouth ready and let's see you doing it. Are you ready? And your screen, here we go. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Stop. Good job. Oh, what, Eva? Ava has her marker again, so we know what that means. Boys and girls, make sure you have your whiteboard and your marker because we are going to be doing some math and I would love to see your board. So what do you think, Ava? Okay, she wants to know, now you have to think. Write the number that comes before five. So think carefully, what number comes before five and once you have it you can write it down so Ava's gonna write it down too okay and as soon as you're done show me look Ava they're showing us too let's see four good job I'm so proud of you guys all right erase your boards okay ready for the next one okay I want to know what number comes before eight so right before eight, what number comes here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got it, write it down. Oh, Ava, I think some people are writing it down faster than us. <laughs> seven, good job, everybody. Okay, okay, let's do one more. Are you ready? Erase your board. Okay, the next number, I want you to write what number comes before three. What number comes before three? Go fast as you can. Now that we're getting before down. What do you have? Show us your boards. Good job, everybody. Good job to you. You know what? You guys are such great pot problem solvers. And I'm really glad that you're such great pot problem solvers because we had a problem. Sometimes they call math problems, not because they're bad, but because they need you need to solve them and figure out what's going on. So I'm gonna share with you a little problem that I just learned about. So sometimes when you're solving problems, you can do them in your head. And sometimes you might want to maybe use some things to act it out. Or sometimes I like to use a marker or a whiteboard or a paper or a pencil to figure it out. But here is the problem we need to solve. So I want you to think, here we go. There are six coats hanging on hooks. Can you picture that in your head? Six coats hanging on hooks. Okay, I've got that one. Now two children put on their coats. Hmm. And four, um, I think there are still four coats hanging up. And you have to decide, am I right or not? So I want you to think about that, like six coats hanging up and two kids put on coats. So I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to draw a picture of that. I'm going to draw a picture of my coats hanging up. I say that there were six coats, right? So maybe I'm going to do this. One, two, three, four. Oh, I got, I'm on that room, aren't I? Four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I said, what, two friends came to get their coats. So maybe this friend takes this one and this one takes this one. So I think that there are four left. Can you see how I drew that picture and how I figured it out? Well, I wanna show you how some other kindergarten friends did it and see what you think about their pictures and which one kind of shows this a little bit better. So the first kindergarten friend that did it, their 
their work looked like this. And I see that they have their four coats up, which is what we thought the answer was. And they said, yes, I knew it in my brain. Well, they got the answer right, but it's kind of hard to see what's going on because there's a lot missing right from our picture. Look at what this student did. This student said, yes, I had six coats and took two coats away and there were four coats left. Now in this picture, I can see it a little bit better how they worked it out. Can you see that? Just how, look at, it looks very, it looks almost the same as us, as our picture, the one that I just did. Yes, I had six coats and took two coats away and there were four coats left. So today what we're going to do is we're gonna think about this because there can be problems that we have to solve. And so in a moment in your blue folder, and you're not gonna get this out just yet, but it's coming. You have a problem that is called seats at the party. And so it says, I was having a party. I put four chairs at the table, the doorbell rang, and I saw seven friends at the door. Do I have enough chairs for all of my friends? So I want you to think about that first. Four chairs, seven friends. Do we have enough? And not only that, but I want to know, how do you know that? So in a minute, you're gonna be able to go into breakout rooms and I want you to draw a picture and try to see what that would look like. How could you draw a picture of that problem on this picture? And I'm gonna be popping into breakout rooms and we're really gonna practice and see if we can show how we can solve problems. Have fun.